Hello students, today I'm going to uh, teach you the structure of the number line. This is the first part of the number line and this is the introduction, alright? So let's get started. Alright, so this is the number line. So the first and most important thing is to have two arrows at the end of the number line. Now why? I'm explaining you. Okay, this is geometry. Now this is a line. Supposing I have to fit 10 numbers, so 0 from I'll start, then 1, 2, then 3, then 4, and then 5. But I don't have space. So I don't have any space. So I will extend my line. But no, we cannot extend a line. Now why can we not extend a line like this? Because you don't have an arrow. But if you had an arrow, you could easily extend the line and wrote uh, numbers like 8, 9 and 10 okay but many children also write some other symbols uh, for fancy looking like a line so they write a full they draw a dot and they color it black so it will look like wow this is so good but no we don't go look wise we go math wise now this has a very 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 particular meaning that full stop full stop means to stop. This means you cannot at all uh, extend a line. All right. And yes, one more thing that this is also not allowed. All right. If you write this, your line is considered as line segment, not a number line. Yes, line segment is something different. We learn it ahead. So, till then, write arrows. And if you have written all your 10 numbers in this line, if supposing you have fit fit it, then also you have to draw numbers, and that's very, very, very necessary. Right? Then also you have to draw. Then also you have to draw. Next. You always have to draw your number line with a pencil. I'm drawing with a board marker because I'm writing, I mean, drawing it on a board, whiteboard. So that's why. Otherwise, you have to draw with a pencil. And yes, one more important thing is that start with zero. Okay. It's not necessary to start with zero, but you guys are beginners to zero is very necessary for you people all right start with zero and with 15 or 10 all right now why 15 or 10 because your sums your beginners now so you'll have sums between 10 to 15 or 10 to 20 all right so draw a big number line draw like this a big number line put arrows and then write zero to ten 0 to 10. 10 na up look when you have to finish till here only. In this much gap you finish 10. Okay. Now supposing the you have to draw some rubber lines ready made only. You that your time is not wasted. Then you have to uh, see this time. Supposing it's um, 5 plus 15. 5 plus 15 is 20. So you have to draw till 20. So you can extend it easily over here till 20. So it's like that, alright? But you have to start with zero because you are beginners and it's compulsory. Otherwise, we'll have negative integers and positive integers, but we're not coming to it, alright? So basically, guys, you're going to learn four main operations on this number line. We are going to learn addition, subtraction multiplication division yes we'll also learn fractions uh, after we learn all the four operations we'll go to fractions which is like supposing one upon zero then in fraction there's a subtopic like represent the following fractions on number line so we'll again come to the topic number line and then oh uh, sorry then we'll uh, go to when we are finished with division, we'll go to negative integers and positive integers. After we are done with that, we'll go to the next part, which is fraction. Okay. After fractions are over, you have a subtopic in the fraction, which is um, 
represent the following fraction on number line so we'll do that so yes and this is all that i had to explain and yes a very good and one more thing that uh, i'll be uploading a video next uh, next weekend so check that out it's for number line and it's addition on a number line so keep uh, six number lines ready with you and yes so after those we'll have a uh, addition cards class and then we'll be giving you homework so hmm keep these following things on mind and till then yeah bye